Are you planning on buying a home in Nanaimo or on Vancouver Island and wondering why it's so competitive? Factors such as high demand for Vancouver Island's natural beauty, limited land supply due to development restrictions, and booming investment market create buyer competition. Come with me as I give you the top three ways to compete when you're buying a home here in Nanaimo, British Columbia. Now, before we get started, if you have a second, give us a like or subscribe. It lets us know what we're doing you like and you want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's get into these buying tips. Did you know that Nanaimo is one of the top five growing cities in all of Canada? We saw the population of Nanaimo grow around 10% last year, which doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Due to these factors of population boom, and other factors in the real estate market, this is getting very competitive for buyers. So we're gonna go through some of these factors and towards the end, I'm gonna go through my top three tips on how to overcome these factors and succeed as a buyer here in the Nanaimo real estate market. The first factor is high demand. Nanaimo has become an increasingly popular place due to its desirable location, natural beauty, and relatively affordable home prices compared to larger cities like Vancouver. High demand can result in limited supply of homes as eager buyers buy them up quite quickly. The second factor is a limited land supply. Nanaimo is situated on Vancouver Island with geographically constrained limit that's available for land development. The lack of land supply can restrict the housing construction, leading to a shortage of homes on the market. The third factor is a slower construction pace. Even though there is available land, the pace of new construction may not meet the demand. Factors such as zoning regulations, permits, labor shortages, and infrastructure development can contribute to the delay in building new homes. The fourth factor is the investment and rental market. Some homeowners in Nanaimo rent out their properties for investment purposes rather than selling them. This reduces the total number of homes available for purchase. Now, this is particularly true in areas with high rental demand, such as Vancouver Island University, which sees around 18,000 students attend this institution every single year, and they need rental properties. The fifth factor is our aging population demographics here. Nanaimo has a significant proportion of retirees and long-term homeowners that may be less inclined to sell their home, leading to fewer listings this is called homeowner stability, and it can result in a limited turnover of houses on the real estate market. I've been dealing with this high demand market for years and found there are ways to prepare for this real estate market, even if you're looking off island. There are three simple processes you should follow so you're in the best possible position to make an offer when the perfect home comes along. The first suggestion is to create a draft contract. I can't tell you how often the perfect property comes along at the last moment, and it can take a few hours to go through the contract to purchase and sale fully. Due to this, we lose valuable time researching the property because we need to understand the form and function of the contract. Due to this, it's best to create a draft contract with an example property so you can go through each aspect of the contract and how it'll affect you ahead of time. The second suggestion is do as many in-person and virtual showings if you're not here on the island as humanly possible. Some people only want to go out and see the perfect home based on online pictures, but I can't tell you how often I've either been pleasantly surprised or absolutely shocked when going out and seeing these in person. Due to this, you should go out and view as many properties as possible. You're going to learn a lot about what you like and dislike. I have a very simple saying, you're going to learn more about the property you don't want to buy by going and viewing properties in person. The third suggestion is learn about common building issues. Depending on when a home is built, it's common to find certain defects that may have not been repaired. For example, homes built before 1990 have a possibility of asbestos products being used in their construction. Homes built before 1998 typically use poly B plumbing lines, which some insurance companies don't like. Most of these things can be turned up during a home inspection, but it's best to understand these things before you get excited about a property. And an experienced agent should be able to point these things out to you while you're viewing these homes.
Now, these aren't the only three things you can do. There are multiple other things that you can do to prepare depending on the type of property you plan to purchase, such as condos, rural properties, and oceanfront homes. But if you follow these three simple guidelines, you'll be in a much more prepared position than the average home buyer. And remember, luck favors the prepared. I hope you get to live the island life soon. And if you want to learn more about doing so, I'd definitely check out this video right here or this video right here. I'm sorry, there's kids chasing ducks. <laughs>